Welcome to Matter 365. In this video, I'll be taking a general run through, navigating through Matter 365's various pages uh, and how they interact with each other. Once you've logged into Matter 365, you're going to be shown the main dashboard. Here we'll see a tile for recently opened matters so you can quickly navigate to them. We have your task status. This will be the task personal to the person who logged into Matter 365, and this is all coming out of Microsoft Planner. Uh, your important links, these will take you directly to the, your Microsoft applications, uh, as well we have our conflict check. We also have a time summary, so you can see the number of hours you've docketed in our system for today, this week, this month, and this year. Generally speaking, uh, you're probably going to be navigating through matters uh, most often. So when we get to our matter page, you can see that we've got a list of matters. We're currently showing only 10 results per page. If you want to see more or any other pages on Matter 365 where we have that uh, ability to change the number of results per page. But we also have the ability to search through matters. So if it's the case that you wanted to find something, we're searching uh, not only the matter names, but also the client names as well as the description. So if I want to search for pool, I can find that this Dun & Mills case is actually searching through the description to show where it actually included the, the word pool. You can see that there. The other thing you want, perhaps want to navigate is through your contacts. Uh, anytime you want to search through your contacts, you can search it by obviously by first name or last name to get the results that you're looking for. Uh, but we also have the ability to search by company name. So if you were looking for somebody who is at a particular firm, you can type that firm in and that company would show up and that, or the contact would show up associated with that company. In the document tab, uh, this allows you to search through all the documents you have stored in your various um, matters. When you're searching, you'll see that the search results will first sort itself by matter and then show you the documents within each of those matters that satisfy that result. Uh, you can search on, or click on this uh, folder and that will take you to the doc that matters document folder. Uh, if you wanted to search uh, in particular for uh, a particular document, you can then click on that document and it's going to open that document in, uh, in a new window. Whenever you're creating a new matter, uh, you can go to the matter page and hit on create new matter. Same for contacts, you can create new contacts, but you also have the ability to do this plus sign in the upper right. And this will give you the ability to both create a matter, create a time tracking, create expense, or create an invoice, regardless of what page you're actually on. Uh, whenever you have to make changes to Matter 365, the main settings is this gear icon in the upper right. And from here, you'll be able to make changes if you need to regarding your QuickBooks online integration, as well as changing contact types, matter types, matter sources, any sort of customization that you want to pull into your system, you're going to start with the main matter settings. If you run into any issues or if you have any questions about Matter 365, uh, we have our knowledge base, which is linked here on the bottom left. Uh, by clicking on it, it's going to open into a new page, uh, and we can see that you can uh, access various articles. The Quick Start Guide is a good one to start with if you're new to the system, as well as our frequently asked questions. We also have a set of Office 365 videos uh, that will help you learn more about how, how to use Teams, Outlook, OneDrive, OneNote, or Planner. If you run into any errors or if you're having difficulty with anything, you can contact our support by clicking the bottom right. Uh, we have live chat and email support between business hours at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can put your information in here and hit submit. You can even include a screenshot if you'd like or attach a picture. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have any other questions, we're happy to conduct a free training session. Uh, or you can contact our support team. Thanks, and have a great day.